Hello Brewtubers, it is another glorious weekend. I have caught sun, hence my rosy red cheeks. Um, and I have had a couple of drinky poos as well, so that might contribute to the factor of the rosy redness. Anyway, I'm going to be drinking some beer mail. Um, kindly sent to me by Hapless, his strawberries and cream wheat beer. Very exciting. I'm fancy doing one of these myself soon. Um, although, whereas he used fresh strawberries and that cocktail mixture slush puppy thingy, I'll be using strawberry and raspberry tea bag fruit infusions. So, um, it'll be interesting to compare. He's given me two bottles, so it'll be interesting to compare my one versus his one when I finish mine. Anyway, let's try his first. Um, this is one I chilled earlier. Nice little hiss. Oh my god, it's my strawberries. Get a bit of head to it there. Put that down. God, I can just smell it already. Very clear, I think it's a bit of chill haze on there. Nothing too extreme. Lots of fizzing and bubbling and hocus pocus going on in there. Got a good red, pink, reddish pink hue to the, uh, the paleness. Hmm. I got that this does smell strawberry, strawberry like, as you would expect. It's almost as red as my cheeks. Isn't that? Yes, it's, it's that ordinary strawberryness, and then there's a funny artificial artificial sweet sort of smell as well. I don't know. Um, certainly sweet strawberry. Anyway, let's dive in. It's actually very dry. We can taste a big mouthful of strawberries. Ever so slightly tart strawberries. Hmm. There's that lovely creamy wheatiness to it as well from the wheat beer side of things. So we're nearing the end of the glass of this. Strawberry delight. Um, mm. It does taste very strawberry y. Strawberry -y? Strawberry. Strawberry ish. Strawberry ish. It tastes strawberry ish. Sounds like a place in Essex, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Oh well. Does taste like strawberries. It's um very refreshing and very drinkable. And it has that lovely sort of creaminess which I guess is from the, the wheat malt and things he's put in it. Um so yes it's it does fit the bill of being a, a creamy strawberry beer. It has a slight fruity tartness to it as well. Um, not a huge amount, um, it's not as tart as say my cranberry and raspberry beer, but then strawberries are sweeter than both those two particular types of fruit. There is a, a taste which reminds me of slush puppies. This little one but you know, in, in general the main flavors coming through are say the the sort of creamy wheaty taste to it and the, the slightly sweet strawberry tones it is a very easy drinker 
you would happily drink that all afternoon and be quite sloshed at the end of it probably not that I think it's particularly strong don't know what the ABV is but it doesn't taste that strong mm. uh, hell gone mm. no it tastes like strawberries not over sweet strawberries but the strawberries cream keep saying the word strawberries mm. it's a very good beer I enjoyed it thank you very much Hapless for sending that to me um, I will enjoy the other one and as I said I'm going to brew my own so um, I'll keep the other one for when my other one's ready and I'll just have a little comparison and see what see what I end up making uh, and I'll send a couple of my strawberry wheat beers to you as well Hapless thank you very much Graham and um, yes I'm going to go and get another beer I'm going to go and get a Lindemann's Cassis an Ambic thing next and my rosy red cheeks will get even redder <laughs> thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon au revoir